In this video I will be bringing some improvements that we can make to the armor generated by Rigify in Blender 2.93. As we can see, all the bones are already in place. We can generate the meta rig. With the metaric generated, we can start making the optimizations. Let's extrude and create two new bones. Let's disconnect them keeping their relatives. Using the magnet, let's align it to the eye bones. I'll remove some unnecessary bones. With all the bones visible, I'll set the roll. For shoulder, arms, and thumb, I set the and Y axis. For the other fingers I define X axis. By doing this we guarantee that the fingers will close correctly. For the leg bones, just give Alt plus R to set the value to 0. We can set the bones of the spine to 0. Bones that control facials can also be set to zero to align. For the bones I created earlier, I will be using it to improve eye movement. The eyes of anime character models are usually not spherical. If we use the rigify pattern, we won't get a good result. I will be using the following restrictions on them. Damp track to track the position of the controller bone.
I will also be using a spin limit. So the eyes will be restricted within the white area. On the auxiliary bone, I will be using copy location with 0.100 influence. So that he can move. Again I will be using a positional limit to constrain the eyes and keep them in place. Remembering that the bones that will move the mesh must be related to the second detruded bone. With the unnecessary bones deleted, we will have to add some controllers to fix. When moving the master eye bone, the eye no longer follows. We need to use a constraint of copy transformations. Let's add a scale constraint on the eye bone. This way we can make the pupil smaller, without the need to shape key this facial expression. I will also add a copy position restriction for some special occasion. I also recommend moving the eye bone forward in edit mode. If everything was adjusted correctly, it should be working the same as what I'm showing. If the eyes do not go all the way, just increase the value of limitations. I'll add a bone to control the eyebrow. So I can drag it to the front of the hair with just one bone.
All deforming eye bones will be repositioned. By doing this, we will be able to close the eyes of the character very easily. Their kinship must also be remade. And also in the constraints, we must reconfigure the missing bones. The head slash tail value must also be set to zero. A limit was assigned to the central bone that controls the others. So that it opens and closes within limits. I'm going to copy the constraint to a few more bones, so the eye closes perfectly. Adjust the influence to get a desired look. Now everything will be done on the right side. After everything is done, it will work as the left side was done first. Here I am showing when I added the tenancy limit constraint to the bone. What I do is set how much I want the eye to open or close, and I copy the value. For the mouth, adjustments were also made to improve its opening. I added a constraint on the chin bone, to smooth it out more, pushing the vertices further apart. I adjusted the constraint influences. I also often add bones to the buttocks, to keep everything in place. Note that the bones help a lot, providing a much nicer silhouette. For the hair, I'm now using more bones. Before, I used only one bone for each strand, with restriction to stretch. Now with more bones, it's better for the movement of the locks, and for using physics.
Instead of using physics for the hair, I'm using inverse kinematic constraint to give the bones movement. In chain length assign the same number of bones. Lastly, I'll be tilting the mouth bones to the same angle as the character's face. After configuring and making the influence weights, we have this result. Blender's Metarig is still the best bone system for anime characters in my opinion. Because it allows you to create poses that only anime characters can usually do. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.